Hey everyone, it is Andrew from IDB. We're gonna go hands-on with the brand new, fully revamped App Store in iOS 11. This is the first time that the App Store got a full major overhaul, and it actually looks a little bit like the News app when you first land on the Today tab inside of the new App Store. Here they can kind of feature stories and stuff from the editor, as well as stuff about different apps. So here we have Monument Valley, which we've also done a review on. So check out that other video if you want to learn more about Monument Valley. But it's got these autoplay videos that are just really gorgeous as you scroll through. Nice callouts, some other images. You can learn about the development of the app. And then of course at the end, if you'd like to buy it, they have a link or you can just straight up open it if you already have it on your device. I really do like how the images just autoplay as you scroll down the page. Of course, they autoplay with the sound off, so you don't just get random audio yelled at you. They're more of just like kind of little snippets of stuff as you kind of scroll through and it really feels alive. All of the tabs across the bottom have also been rearranged. So of course we have that today view. Then we have the games tab. Games are such a huge part of the app store. They've been broken out of their own separate section. They have the featured games along the top. Then we have new games that we love or the editors love. Then we have the top charts that used to be its own tab. So we have the top paid apps and just runs through the top ones of those. Then we have the top free apps and just runs through those. Then there are of course categories if you want to break it down into certain types of games and just more different categories of ones that they feel like they want to feature. So it could be beautiful games or games you might like or zombie games, whatever it might be. Then we have the apps tab. So this is just everything that is not a game. It's laid out in a very similar style. If we go and view an actual product page, these are probably one of my favorite parts. The product pages look really, really nice. You have that rating right on top, how many ratings it has. Um, you can pull through and it shows you all of the, uh, the videos will autoplay just like they do on the main pages. So you can just swipe down and you just start to see these videos playing as well as all the other images the developer has included. And then even below that, this all looks really nice as well. We have the ratings and review section, gives you all that breakdown and you can just swipe through and see what other people are saying. Now, of course, your iPhone is supposed to be getting smarter and more proactive. So right below that, you can actually see um, below information, you can see apps that you may like. So just based on bear or purchases you've made, you can see other apps that they can kind of refer to you. After the apps section, we have updates. So similar to what we had before, it's a little bit more spaced out. I wish this was maybe a little bit more condensed so you can't really see them all as easily, but you can update them individually or you can update them all uh, as a bunch, the same way as you could in the past. Then we have the search page. It's got a little bit bigger of a bar, a bunch more trending topics that are again, a little bit bigger text than they were in the past, similar to any of those other apps that have also been updated like um, podcasts, which we also looked at. Personally, I pretty much really, really like the new version of the App Store. Some things feel like a little bit clunky just because I can't see as much information as I could in the past, but these product pages are gorgeous, and I love that they have like the little editor's choice button there at the top, so when you're looking through something, you can see like, oh, this is something I should probably check out. It's got, that, it's got great reviews, it's got editor choice, you can view the version history on all the different features they've been coming out with over time. Overall, this is a very welcome update to the App Store. So what do you guys think of the new and improved App Store? Or is it improved? Let us know down in the comments and keep subscribed so you can find more great iOS 11 content. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.